What's happening behind us? This is our annual Studio Arts Festival where we have about 110 artists and vendors here selling their one-of-a-kind artwork. As I began exploring the varieties of booths, I found three women who danced to a different drum. This is hand spinning on a spinning wheel. And, and is this wool? This is wool from a Coredale sheep. It's a natural colored fiber. It's undyed. Oh, my goodness. I processed, I processed this from the sheep. Did you shear the sheep? No, I didn't shear the sheep. <laughs> I draw the line at shearing. <laughs> the art of spinning, Karen said, is very meditative and soothing. And when she generously offered to teach me, I quickly learned that it was also harder than it looked. I think most beginners pedal too fast. I know, I You're, did. You got it down, though. That's pretty good. Okay, this is good? Okay. Yeah, good. Yay! <laughs> Joy was an inescapable side effect for many of the attendees experiencing the variety of art forms represented. There truly was something for everyone, from jewelry to paintings to multimedia art installations to origami. Like this is regular origami paper. Uh -huh. All of this is from magazines. Oh my, it looks this, so cool and artistic, folded and, into a crane and there. And here's from music paper. <gasps> How neat. So you have music and one with maps. I use map paper. Amidst the wide variety of art for sale, we found one of the Fine Arts Center instructors, Beverly Turner, demonstrating how to sculpt from clay. Yeah, I show my students how to take um, reference photos and how to chat with their model to get the personality of the model. And then to slowly build it up and get it out of the, what I call the alien stage. <laughs> to get a glimpse of the creative process and be surrounded by such brilliant artists and their work was incredible. The only disappointing thing was that this festival won't be back again until next year. For Irvine News, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson.